I already spoke on that. I mean, I wasn't around Cat Williams. I mean, I don't know what's, I mean, all I know is, to me, he a real nigga, bro, you know. What he did for me, i never forget that, man. I mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful what he did for me and my family, you know. And it's different because he didn't even know me, bro. The man invited me, gave me front row seats. I went home a week, two weeks, bro. When I was leaving the concert, he gave me 15K. I never forget that. I needed that money too, bro. So I ain't commenting on what was said or nothing like that. I just know he a real nigga to me, bro. There was plenty of other successful people hollering free boosted, bro, but they ain't show me no love, bro. Cat Williams, bro. He did some of the really shit I didn't. Dude got a good heart, bro. I wish him the best in anything he ever do, you know. I ain't seen him since, bro, but when I see him, I'm definitely going to bless him, bro. And I keep 15, 20 in my pocket at all the time. And he one of the funniest I ever saw in stand-up. I've never seen nobody funny like Cat Williams in stand-up. Him and Eddie Griffin and Mike Elf. Eddie Griffin, the motherfucker, boy. It's a bad motherfucker, too. Him and see Cat Williams, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this nigga did a joke about <laughs> the ladies who be <laughs> who be on them commercials with them holes in their throats from smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Stand up, Cat Williams, a motherfucker, boy. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga funny and stand up, bro. My favorite comedian of all time, Bernie Mac, I mean. But stand up, Cat Williams is, <laughs> Cat Williams, he came to New Orleans and he put on the show, bro. I mean, man, this dude's so funny. Stand up, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna throw that joke. <laughs> Fuck them serious. I'm gonna put them serious stuff. Man, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna always be grateful for what Cat Williams did for me and my family, bro. I'm gonna always be grateful for him.